Most renewable energy sources have one crucial drawback. This is instability and unpredictability. Certainly there are principles. The wind blows and the sun shines in some areas, but this is not always guaranteed. What would you say about an energy source that is as accurate as a clock? Twice a day, strictly according to schedule, it turns on and produces a large amount of electricity. And this is the case for many years to come. Could such stability be of interest given how essential it will be for the network and scheduling reliability? Of course. Then in this video, we will talk about tidal energy, especially about those projects that are now taking this industry to a new level and revealing its huge energy potential. Tidal power plants can operate using different technological solutions. One of them is a conventional bladed wind turbine. It is basically a windmill, but lowered underwater. Therefore, it is not surprising that technologies that are beginning to be used in wind energy have also entered the young tidal energy industry. We are talking about turbines in which there is no reduction gear. Such devices have fewer units, which means fewer parts that can fail. More importantly, they are cheaper to maintain and reduce the cost of generating electricity. It is on this premise that the innovative gearless tidal 100 kW Unis turbine is built, and it has been successfully operating near the Shetland Islands since 2020. Direct drive technology has reduced costs and losses so that the cost of electricity has been reduced by a third. The EU Strategic Energy Technology Plan for Tidal Energy has set a target of 150 euros per megawatt by 2025. And the developers of Eunice have already surpassed this indicator. With scaling, the price of a megawatt could drop and become competitive with fossil fuels. Eunice is not the only turbine from the Nova Innovation Company and the Enfate project. From 2015 to 2017, three classic tidal turbines were installed on the same coast, with a total capacity of 300 kilowatts. It is also planned to build the second and third gearless turbines with a capacity of 200 kilowatts each. The main goal of the Enfade project is to show the prospects of an emerging market in order to strengthen investor confidence in tidal energy. This is how it will be possible to create a commercially viable industry and reliable technologies. So far, they have succeeded, but they are not the only ones. If Unis is a small but very efficient turbine, then the AR1500 turbine is a real giant. Its rotor is 18 meters wide and it packs 1.5 megawatts of power. In 2018, the Cymec Atlantis Energy Company, an operated of the MyGen project, installed four of these turbines in the strait between Orkney Islands and the coast of Scotland. By the way, its 6 megawatt capacity makes it the largest tidal wave power plant in the world. The AR-1500 turbine was built by the Atlantis Company in partnership with Lockheed Martin. The main features of the design are two innovative subsystems, Yaw Drive System YDS and Variable Pitch System VPS or Variable Pitch Propeller. In the first one, special elements allow the turbine to rotate autonomously around its base so that it is always directed toward the tidal stream. And in the second one, the tilt angle of the blades is adjustable to optimize power generation in the tidal current. By the way, the installation and connection of the AR-1500 were completed at a record speed of less than 60 minutes. This was the first time a tidal turbine was installed and instantly connected to the shore. The MyGen project is arguably one of the most ambitious in history. The location in the Pentland Firth, just two kilometers from the northeast edge of Scotland, spans some of the most powerful waters in the United Kingdom. Atlantis's goal is to deploy nearly 270 turbines to generate about 400 megawatts of power, enough to power 175,000 homes. But while this goal is still far-fetched, there are more tangible results. In 2020, the MyGen turbine system exported more than 37 gigawatt hours of clean electricity to the UK grid, breaking all records for the production of electricity from ebbs and flows. But that's not all. Since 2019, the company has been working on the AR2000. It will be the world's largest single-rotor tidal turbine. 
While the power of 2 megawatts is achieved not just by a proportional increase in size, the rotor will increase by only 10%, and the frame for mounting in general will remain almost the same. The Atlantis engineers have focused their efforts on making the control system smarter, the structure simpler, as well as on reducing the power conversion balance. Several turbine components have also been improved, especially the rotor tilt system. All this has a significant impact on reducing the cost of energy production. But why use only tidal energy? What about wave energy? The Archimedes Wave Spring Wave Power Plant works according to this principle. In 2019, the AWS Ocean Energy Scottish Company received a grant for their development and in 2022 successfully conducted tests in the Orkney Islands. The average power of the test sample was 10 kilowatts, and it turned out to be 20% better than their own predictions. Peak power is 80 kilowatts. The essence of the operation of this device is that it consists of two, so to say, float chambers. The lower one is moored to the seabed, and the second one, under the pressure of passing waves, goes up and down relative to the lower one. The resulting motion is converted into electricity by a direct drive generator. At the same time, the location under the waves at a depth of about 25 meters allows the wave swing to avoid the destructive effects of storms. However, the main feature of the project is scalability. The developers claim that their development can produce up to 500 kilowatts of power, and by creating farms of 20 blocks, one can build 10 megawatt platforms. According to European researchers, the global economic potential of tidal energy technology is about 800 terawatt-hours. It is not much, but it could cover up to 10% of Europe's electricity demand in 2050. And that is not too bad given that in 2030, tidal energy will be less expensive than fossil fuels and nuclear energy, according to the predictions of the same experts. Therefore, we hope the projects described by us will continue their endeavors and push the tidal energy industry to further development, as well as help reduce the cost of both the structures themselves and the resulting kilowatts.